Steve, uh, just what was the key to the, the third quarter and how nice was it to have so many different players contribute with Durant out? Uh, well, we, th we threw it to our guys instead of their guys. That was pretty uh, as, you know, as simple <laughs> as it sounds. That's, uh, that's what happened. First half, we probably just threw away five passes without even thinking, just throwing it to the other team. And that led to, I think they had like 15 points off our turnovers. So third quarter, we just took care of the ball. And, um, and we do that because of our talent and because of the pressure Steph can put on the defense at the point of attack. Then. Um, you know, the, the ball starts to really move, and you saw how beautiful I was in the, in the second half. We had 37 assists total. And so it's all about uh, taking care of the ball and defending. And uh, the defense part, I'm really uh, pleased with. Um, I think this is about the fifth straight really good defensive effort we've had, so that's a great sign. Um, Nick Young kind of got some of those Durant minutes. Tonight. I want to ask you not about a shooting, but he had a couple of defensive plays and assist. I saw you really fist bump. Yeah. I, I like Nick's effort tonight um, at the defensive end. Um, you know, he's pretty good on the ball. You know, I think he's his defense on the ball is his strength, and uh, he's got to continue to work on his off off ball defense. But uh, I loved his energy. I loved his intent out there. Um, he gets a little shy sometimes. I want to encourage him <laughs> to shoot. <laughs> so we'll, talk, we'll talk more about that. Uh, Steve, along the, oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, Nick Young, JaVale McGee, Sean Livingston in that one stretch. Did you see something, some kind of chemistry with those three? Was there something with those three on the court that, that, that really clicked, you think? Well, I think uh, it's a combination that we wanted to go to before the game with KD out. Um, you know, JaVale gives us such energy. And, uh, and, and Nick obviously can shoot the ball. So um, you want Sean out there to, to kind of orchestrate and settle everybody down. And uh, so that, that was really a good combination. I thought JaVale's minutes were fantastic, plus 15 and whatever, nine minutes, uh, great energy. And Sean had a really nice night. So um, yeah, that was, a good, that was a good combination. Seemed to change the game a little bit. Steve, along, along those lines, seeing so many different guys do some of the little things, um, Caspi. Uh, blocking some shots and how, how much how encouraged are you by all of that then? yeah well you know what I actually kind of like these games uh, when we have to sit somebody um, in a weird way it's good for our, for our team I mean we're you know we're lucky we're in a position where we've got so much talent that um, you know we can afford to miss one of our main guys and still be able to compete at a high level and, and um, so on a night like this it allows um, guys like Omri and, and Nick um, to, to step in there and, and get good minutes. And it, it's good for the team, and it's good for morale, it's good for individual development, um, and it forces the, the group to, to play together uh, when you're missing you know, one of your main guys. So I, I like nights like this, and uh, as I said, we're, we're fortunate to be able to, uh, with our depth and our talent, uh, to be able to make up for the loss of a great player. Hey Steve, just the fact that it's so early in the season, I was wondering what was your sense going in as far as just the team's readiness to absorb any kind of absence like this with Durant? Uh, I felt good about it because uh, we've been rock solid now the last four, four or five games. Uh, our defense has picked up. Um, and um, so I, I had no worries about playing without KD because I know we've got a lot of a lot of guys who know how to play and, and uh, some vets. And, Omer is just like the, just a fantastic um, piece to have. Um, I don't even know what his role is from one night to the next. Um, I guess that's what his role is, is just to be ready. And um, I, I, I never know before the game when I'm going to put him in. Um, but I know when I put him in, he's going to do a, a great job and keep the, the action going with his cutting, his energy, his defense. So uh, he's been a, a tremendous addition. Um, Coach? Andre had a solid game with 11 points. Um, and what did you think of his performance tonight, just being inserted in the game, uh, inserted in the starting lineup for the first time in two years? Has it been two years? Yeah, well, well, regular season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Andre, uh, Andre's Andre. We always know what we're going to get from him, which is great defense and uh, directing the team as a kind of a point forward. Um, but uh, I was I wanted to put him in the starting lineup to um, to play him with uh, with that 
with the backcourt of Steph and Clay, so he could play make and also hopefully get a couple open looks, and uh, which he did. He knocked him down. So it's a good night for uh, for Andre and for everybody really. To follow up to that, how how big was his will, uh, his ultimate willingness to come off the bench in 2014 for for your for what you had going coming into the new coach? Well, I've said this before, but Andre's uh, willingness to come off the bench set the tone for everything that we do here. Um, and, and that uh, acceptance and uh, unselfishness still resonates with our group. Um, I can always point to Andre's sacrifice that year as you know, kind of setting the tone for who we are and what we do. And um, that's why when uh, you know when we play everybody and and you know some guys don't get big minutes and um, you know it, it could go either way. You know the way we do things. Um, because you're, you're trying to keep everybody happy, but when you do that, sometimes you can upset some people. But Andre's example uh, set the tone early on here for for everybody to, to be unselfish and to understand it's about the group, and that's uh, that's it's been a powerful force for us. Two more. Steve, to, to uh, have Al Adels back in the building and a happy birthday by, by the whole arena, what, what did that mean to him? That was great. Yeah. I loved hearing the, the crowd sing to him, and uh, that was one of the one of the best moments of the night, and uh, it was good to taking him for granted. He's been so good and so good for so many years now. I don't know. I mean, we marvel at what he does every single night. Um, but I think part of the package with Steph is that you know he's so fluid and loose, um, uh, which makes him great. But it also means some games he'll just throw the ball to the other team. You know, a couple of times, and you're like, "What? What is that?" You know, and and uh, and he comes to the sidelines. He's like, "I don't know what I'm doing." And, um, but what he does in, in every other, in every area, really, defensively, offensively, is, is just so forceful um, that you live with a few turnovers, and you you know you hope that that he makes you know, better decisions, which he did in the second half. Um, but the guy is just. Uh, it's just stunning, really, the impact he makes. Um, I've, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, that there's uh, obviously been so many great players in this league who have dominated. And, you know, you think about Michael Jordan immediately or, or Larry Bird or Magic and, uh, you know, Shaq, you know, the, what he did to the defense. You know, you had to pay so much attention to him. And, and Steph is similar but in a different way from everybody else. And that, you know, I've never seen anybody put that much pressure on the defense 35 feet from the hoop and generate the, the, the spacing and the pace and the chaos uh, that ensues defensively once he gets going towards the rim. So everything we do you know, starts with Steph. And um, he's, uh, he's brilliant. So if he wants to throw the ball to the other team a couple of times, we're going to Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Because